Well, we're back with the old 1914, roughly, uh, Gibson L1 guitar. And uh, it's turned out pretty well. Is it perfect? No, by no means is it perfect. Um, but it looks pretty good. You can still see uh, the crack area that was really bad. Um, you can still see some of the other cracks uh, that were there but uh, it looks pretty good compared to the way it was. It's, uh, it now looks like an instrument that's been fairly well cared for. Um, as you recall, we also replaced one of the tuning keys, this one here. Now, I didn't have a tuning key that matched. I just had to go to my scrap pile and I found a mandolin key. So the key itself is smaller, um, but it looks just like the other keys at least. So it does match to some degree. Um, better than what they had on there. They had a bent piece of junk that had a piece of bone glued to it. So it's way better than that. It's not perfect by any stretch. Um, but that wasn't necessarily the goal. It was just to make it functional and usable and a decent looking guitar. And that's what we're doing. So we're going to put her back together this morning and see how well we can uh, get her to play and uh, how well we can get okay. it set up. First thing we'll do, I guess, is... Uh, See if we can find a good way to mount this uh, pick guard. The pick guard uh, looks to be original. It needs a piece of cork or something on this on this uh, metal on this metal piece right here. This clamps onto the side of the body and uh, has been a problem over the years. You can tell it's uh, definitely uh, created issues. I can see here too that the clamping mechanism doesn't look like it's going to be wanting to work too well. So we might have some more issues here to work on. Um, let's see if we can... There should be a uh, cam deal going on there when you spin that, but it's not camming. So I guess I'm going to have to work on this little uh, mechanism, see if I can improve it too, because it's not working very well at all. So, so much for putting the guitar back on dude. I was hoping I didn't have to work on that. It really does seem to be messed up. And it looks really delicate. Old and delicate. I don't know if we can fix that or not. I hope we can because it needs to needs to be working. There it just got tight all of a sudden. Have to figure out how the trick what's tricking that into getting tight versus loose. I've dealt with a number of these over the years, but I never really had any problem with one until this one. So I've never really looked at them that close. Okay, I kind of got an idea here what part of the problem is. We have to get... Boy, this thing, you're going to have to hold your mouth just right to make this one work. Uh, see what I think the problem is. See what the... T there it's locked in again. Okay, maybe it's just pilot error. Maybe I just didn't have it all lined up correctly kind of see how it works now. Maybe I can make it work on there now and make it stay together. No guarantees on anything when it comes to something like this. I'll try to give you an idea what the problem is. This little brass slider inside here has a has a clip on it that goes through these holes. Don't know if you can see the holes very well, but it, it, it goes down through those holes. So you have to get that lined up in the proper hole for the width of the guitar. Then this cam right here has to be, there's a notch on this cam and that has to be up on underneath this back end of this lever. So when you pull this around it kind of locks it into place. Although that's not locking very good right now I can tell you even though I've got it set right now. So I need a way to tighten that up. And I think the brad is just too long now. Maybe I can find a way to re-brad this and just get it a little bit tighter because it's still not working good. I 
don't want to put it together like this. It's just not good. Take it back apart again because it's, while I understand how it works now, it's well, not I'll working very well. Brad this little tiny brass pin just a little bit to make it tighter. We're going to figure this out. That might have actually worked. Very tight now. Very tight. I think I actually did some good there. Amazing. Now, again though, it's still going to be like uh, you need three hands because uh, it's got to be adjusted literally from the inside. We'll just have to do the best we can with it. An odd design, really. Glad we've got better ways to do this these days. Although this is kind of cool. Have to uh, spin it around here to get it to tighten up the last little bit. The nut won't turn because of the offset. Okay. Well, we'll start that process again. See if we can get the guitar up here and make this fit on there now. So I do have some sticky felt. And that'll probably be the thing to use. I think I'm probably going to put a little felt on this piece too because that sits on top of the guitar and uh, it rides on the edge of the guitar so I might as well put a little felt on that as well. I don't think that's sticking too good but maybe it'll last till we get it on there. We've got two pins right here to line up with two holes in the pick guard. They just get pressed in by hand. Believe it or not, I think I got it. It's actually the, uh, holding. bridge that goes right there. As I said, I believe at one time there was a pin that went into this hole. That pin is missing, and I'm not sure it's going to line up and work, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. We've got to get the uh, tailpiece back on. And I have already cleaned the tailpiece up. I once again I did not sand it or, or brush it with a wire brush or anything. All I did was just use soap and water, literally, to just wash the grime off of it. It had a lot of old grime I'm on it. I'm going to put some glue and toothpicks in these holes. Okay, it doesn't take much. Just a little glue, poke them in the holes, break them off. A little more glue. Poke it in the hole, break it off. So that nut just basically sits there. We will put a little bit of glue on it, a little hide glue or something that'll come loose if we need it to come loose later. Just looking at it, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. It looks like it fits pretty well. I've cleaned the joint up there already. So we'll get the hide glue. Doesn't take very much, by the way, on this. Just a little bit, a little bit on one, on two sides. Take and spread that out a little bit. Put it in place. And that should hold that. Now I'm going to 
see what light strings I have. I, I've got the Martin Marquis Phosphor Bronze Lights, but I'm going to see if I have anything even lighter for this guitar. I don't know if I do or not. Okay, I've got a lot of single strings, and uh, I found some steel strings, stainless steel strings, which is probably the kind of strings this guitar probably had on it a long time ago anyway. And they fit the groove. These are really light, 46 on the big E string. So we'll see what we can do with this. Don't know, but I think we can make it work. Well, off camera, I had a few issues with strings, the phone rang, a few different things, so uh, I went ahead and put a couple more strings on. Um, as I said, I'm putting on stainless steel strings, and they're uh, much lighter than standard. And it looks like that's what this instrument calls for. I knew it would have needed light strings, I didn't know it would need them this light, but I think it makes sense on this old of an instrument with as many issues as this instrument has is to put these extra lights on here anyway. One last string to go, and this one is a 10 on the bottom.